everyone. Welcome back. This is Akika David. We're going to continue today with our Ancient Hebrew Alphabet Origin Series, the Lashon HaKodesh. Today I want to introduce you to what they call the parent root. The parent root is what they call a Shoresh, and it means that you're going to put two letters or two pictures together to create what they call a root. A root is formed by putting two letters together. Okay? Um, very simple. Two consonants, either an Aleph and a Bed or a Kaf and a Lamed, that's the root, okay, which is called a Shoresh. I want to give you an example of what that looks like, something very, very basic, okay. So here we have what they call an Aleph plus a Bed equals Av, okay. You put those two together and what do you have? You have what they call a Father, like we talked about in our last teaching. And I use the scripture up there, uh, Better Sheet 24, which is Genesis, to say the two shall become one. That concept is applied to the Hebrew language. Okay? Um, let's look at our next slide, which is talking about the child root. The child root is what? Three letters. Instead of them being two, there's three letters. And in the Hebrew language, there are 13 different child roots. Once you learn these child roots, you'll be able to understand who their parents are, and how do you, you know, where do they come from? That's the idea. This is what I love about the language. The language has to do with family. It's a family of letters. It's a family of concepts. It has to do with agriculture. It has to do with culture. So this is beautiful. Okay, here's an example of what I'm talking about. You're going to add some letters together. You know, one plus one equals what? Not two. <laughs> one plus one equals three in that concept. The matter will be established if you put two or three things together. And so what we know is that Yah is using his language as a witness to what? To tell us what he said. So if you don't know his language, you won't know what the witnessing is. You won't understand it. Okay. Um, let me tell you what we're trying to do here. What we're trying to accomplish is what, called, what I call the Lashon HaKodesh series, which is a cycle of seven. It talks about the ancient Hebrew roots the shoreshim it's gonna i'm gonna introduce you introduce you excuse me to 303 different shoreshim which you're gonna memorize they're gonna be easy you're gonna learn the basis of grammar the rules the verbs and it's uh, present tense it's past tense it's future tense and so that's the goal the goal is to familiarize you with the language so you can understand how it works because if you don't understand how the language works you want to understand the torah and then you will not understand what the creators at literally asking of us and how he's trying to guide us in the path in which we need to go as stated in earlier videos I want to remind you that the concept here is to obtain wisdom knowledge and understanding is through this language period that's it uh, there's no spiritual thing to this it's just what it is and the cycle of that is going to be roots reading and grammar a lot of people don't want to do this. So, you know, like I said, this video could be for those who want to learn and those who don't want to learn, they're going to turn the video off. OK, but let me introduce you to the next letter that we're talking about, which is the cough. What does the cough mean? The cough has to do with the palm of the hand. OK, it means to curve or to bend and to, you know, as well as to tame or to subdue. And so Yah is trying to show us something here about why he's using this language, because he's trying to subdue us. He's trying to subdue our will. He's trying to subdue our mind. And the only way he does that is through his hand, kind of like what a shepherd does with a shepherd's staff. He, he leads his sheep to the direction he wants them to go. He instructs them. He disciplines them. He tells them exactly what he wants them to do. Now, as you know, you know what the letter cough looks like, but I just wanted to put it up here for you so you can know what it looks like and what the final cough looks like. The final cough is the cough that they put on the end of a word, okay? The next letter that we want to talk about is called the Lam. The ancient you know, Hebrew for this means the shepherd's staff. The shepherd's staff is used to direct the sheep, pushing and pulling them. It's also used as a weapon to protect and defend against what? Against predators, against the sheep. It also has the idea of moving forward or moving in a different direction. It also means authority, a sign, uh, the leader of the flock. It also has the meaning of a yoke as putting on the shoulder to bind and to, you know, bind an animal and so the most high is using these terms and these these signs to let us know what the purpose is of his direction Yah's direction for us is to lead us to show us that he has authority over us to use his staff which is his Torah as a weapon against those who try to come against us to bind us and yoke us to him 
And that is the sign of his authority in our lives. And so we need to submit to that authority, be you know, bent to the will of the Most High. Um, and with that being said, here's the lament and what it looks like, as you already know. I just wanted to put it up here again for you to kind of give you an idea. And lamed means to lead, right? Leadership. The next word that we want to talk about is called the ma. The ma is a picture of water, waves of water. It has the idea of liquid, water, and the sea. The sea was, you know, consistent of massive waves and sizes of chaos and storms. And to the Hebrews, the sea was something that was feared and it was unknown. And for this reason, the letter ma has the idea of asking a question like, who, what, when, where, and how. And so in the Hebrew grammar, they use this word ma to ask a question because it's something unknown. When you don't know something, you ask a question. The picture again of that is waves of water. Okay, Water, liquid, and gr grammatically means to ask a question. What? Why? Because you don't have the answer. Kind of like when they had the manna, they was like, what is this? They were saying ma, ma. That's what it is, to ask a question. Here's what the letter looks like in its different forms. One is the final form, one is the one that, that's in the middle of the letter, or excuse me, in the middle of the Sharesh, and one is the final, as I've mentioned to you before. The next letter I really love is called the Noom. It's the ancient pictograph of a sea of sprouting. You know, it's representing the idea of continuing to a new generation. This pictograph also has the meaning of uh, continuation, uh, perpetuation, offspring, and an era. Um, What's important here is to understand that the idea of Yah planting us um, in his world is for continuation. As you can see, this is not really a spiritual concept. It's a, it's a very practical concept. It's a very physical concept. And so we know, like with the family, you know, there's a seed, there's an heir, there's offspring, there's continuation, perpetuation, and generation. So if you're, you're a man, you have good seed, you want to look for a woman who's good ground. If you're a woman who is good ground, you need to have good seed. If you do what's right and you do what you need to do, you'll end up having that which is good, which is a good heir, a good offspring. And it's our job and our responsibility to take care of that heir and that offspring. So it's this is all has to do with culture and agriculture. Okay, um, This is what the letter looks like. I want to thank you again for taking your time to share with you know your day with us. And I want you to stick with me on this series so you can learn more and more about the Torah of Yahweh. Shalom.